hello friends welcome to another new video um this is um crypto everything okay so today we're just going to be doing the zk sync um airdrop okay so we're going to be going through a checklist to do all of the things that we need to do to qualify for the zk sync airdrop okay i know some of you have heard about this zk sync and definitely it's going to be massive okay so there are some things that we are going to need to do to qualify for this and this is what we're going to be doing right now i'm going to be taking you step by step through the whole video it's a very simple one okay some of them you're going to need actual money for and the rest of them you're going to just need test net okay okay so but before we continue um if you're new to my um, channel please do subscribe right now and turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified anytime i make a new video okay so now that that is done let's move down to business okay so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go through this checklist of uh, six things to do okay so um first of all we're going to go through this we're going to claim um funds from the ck sync uh this is the test net this first one right here so if you click on that link okay i'm going to leave everything in the description it's going to bring you over here okay so this is the goalie for um for set okay so once you link your account you're going to have to connect your account right here mine is already connected okay so you're going to get some um some goalie for set tokens okay so what you're going to be doing is just to bridge some of the tokens from the ethereum um goalie down to zk sync okay that's what we're going to do so once you click on this for set okay it's going to take you to the bridge where you need to um, get some goalie faucet tokens and then come over here and then you're going to see your balance okay so as you can see i have 0 0.4 um ethereum goalie ethereum okay so if i click on swap um deposit it's going to deposit right here so all of those tokens we're going to uh, move from the ethereum mainnet to um, um ethereum goalie testnet to the zk sync testnet okay so then after that after you've deposited you need to actually um withdraw a bit of it okay so from back from the zk sync back to ethereum goalie same process uh, everything that's how it works okay so you can check your wallet to see how much you have got in your um test um tokens okay those are all the things that you can do then you can also transfer from your account down to somebody's account okay so you can just get um somebody's wallet address or create a different account and have it two wallet addresses and then put one in here and then send some so the idea is just to uh, mess around with the whole platform you know daily okay so make sure you try to do this thing daily um just majorly it's just a bridge and then you can transfer to some people but majorly what you're going to be doing here is just a bridge okay so that is it for the first part of the um the task okay so the next thing we want to do we want to bridge funds to zk sync okay remember this first one is for test net but this other one we're gonna use actual money this is the main net okay if you click on that okay it's gonna bring you over to this page right here so this one i'm gonna bring you here yeah you're gonna choose which wallet you're gonna use if you're using the argent wallet it's cool we're gonna be using the ethereum okay so if you're using the ethereum you just click on metamask and then it's gonna be connected okay it's gonna take you to the layer two okay it's gonna tell you to switch to the network okay so from whatever network it is on to the ethereum main net okay okay so as you can see uh, i already made some um deposits already as you can see um point 03 okay so what you want to do is when you come here we want to bridge some of our tokens from the ethereum mainnet okay so if you have um some coins or uh, some ethereum make sure it's on mainnet okay so you can go to like binance or um uh you know coinbase just buy some ethereum um on the ethereum mainnet layer one tokens okay then come over here click on top up okay so there are different ways to top up you can buy using credit cards or you can use these bridges right here this is what we're going to be doing you're going to be using the zk sync so i've gone ahead to use the zk sync um zigzag and orbiter to do all this you now just to maximize my chances just in case any of these um like orbiter decide to do it an airdrop okay for that okay so we're going to be using the zk sync okay we want to use the zk sync so you click on zk sync and then it's going to bring you here so um if you have some ethereum already some minute ethereum is going to show you here this is what i have in my minute balance okay and it's going to cost me 2.7 dollars or 2.27 dollars for just the transaction fee so you're gonna if you click on this it's gonna um take all of your tokens okay then then convert it from the ethereum mainnet to Z, um, ethereum and is zk sync okay so you're gonna click on top up if you want to that is going to if you click on that it's gonna actually do the transaction and then all your assets your assets will move from the ethereum mainnet uh to the zk sync uh, ethereum okay so it's, it's, it's that simple so just do a swap bridge uh, you know that's just the just just the idea of this particular part of the video okay so we have done the number two this the third one is a uh, um sync swap okay done xyz okay this is a uh, still a test net okay okay so um this is the sync swap dot xyz okay the first thing just have to come over here 
and collect your wallet okay so just you just gonna have to play with all of this um the trade the pool the end okay so um you just have to do some quick swaps from ethereum to um any th token that is available maybe in your city and just put in the amount you want to you can put in 50 percent and then just click on approve and like you know how to do this already so you just um do that and then you can move to the pool section you can create a pool if you have um some coins some coins already after after swapping and you can just you know add some liquidity pools just join a pool okay so after that is done then you can move on to the next one it's uh, simple i know you have you have been doing um stuff like this before so i'm just not gonna waste time there so the next thing i want to do is um um trade the zigzag okay so risk right here number one is testnet number three is testnet number two is mainnet number four is mainnet number five is mainnet and number six uh, probably main net okay so um we have done one two three so the fourth one is the um, zigzag dot exchange okay so if you click on that it's going to bring you over here so this is the zigzag okay so you can actually bridge your tokens here too if you want to so you can come over to the bridge section if you want to uh you may first of all you have to connect your wallet and all that stuff okay so if you have a uh, main net okay and you want to move to zk sync okay you can actually use this platform instead of the zk sync bridge you can use this um zigzag as a bridge too but i would advise you to use your zk sync because uh miss i think you're gonna have more chances of getting an airdrop since it's zk sync that is hosting it okay so bridge might you know um zigzag might decide to give all that people that have um, you know you know traded here or bridged here um an airdrop in the future but that is not uh, that is just a speculation but for uh, zk sync we know that, um, that an airdrop is imminent okay so you can decide to bridge if you want to and then you can bridge from your ethereum to your zk sync or the the major thing we want to do here is to trade you can, your ethereum on the zk sync to usdc on the zk sync so you just check over here you can see a list of coins that you can actually you know trade okay so f usdc f die depending on what you want so what we're going to be doing here is making some trades I've already gone ahead to do some trades so i'm just going to show you uh what to do you know how to do this just buy okay you can place some trades let me try to connect my account sometimes you might have an issue you, you might not connect so what you want to do is open your your metamask and make sure it's on ethereum mainnet before it's going to connect so once this is on mainnet now we can click on connect and then it's going to work so as you can see my account is already connected okay now we can decide to you know buy or sell ethereum against usdc or any any pair that we want okay i know you know how to do that it's very simple you buy and you sell you can just uh, place and buy you can sell you some of the ethereum or maybe let's say some ethereum okay you can just click on that and then choose uh, you can decide to buy at the market price or you can choose a limit which never whichever amount you want to so this allows you to set the price to wherever you want to buy at okay but if you're choosing the market price it's going to be fixed so it's going to be you're going to be buying at the exact market price um it's selling for right now okay so that is what you're going to be doing so make sure to spread this thing out maybe uh you can trade maybe buy and sell um twice a day or you don't know you know twice a day you then next day next 24 hours you come over here again buy and sell you know you can buy usdt against ethereum and then sell it again okay just to increase volume okay so make sure you spread it out over some a period of time okay that actually guarantees you to have you know more volume over this period of more um some time gives you more access okay gives you more opportunities to have more of this um a drop okay so now that we have done that one on the zigzag exchange so zigzag exchange you're just going to trade you can decide to swap if you want to. you can decide to bridge if you want to but just you know trade okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to meet an nft okay so this is the tricky one this is where i want you to pay attention because this is uh, you might not know what to do so if you click on that link okay it's going to bring you over to the this page back here okay so this is the, the still the zk sync bridge so we want to move over to the nft section okay as you can see right here i have an nft okay so i already minted mine so this is going to cost you about 10 cents or 8 cents okay so but before you can mint an nft you have to create an nft okay so um we are going to go over to if you click on this mint nft right here it's going to tell you um to put in um a kind of like a uh cid okay but how do you get the cid as you can see right here is even saying six cents okay but now let's get our cid so for this you're going to have to go to a different website which is called app.tinata.cloud okay so just go over there create an account okay once you've created an account this is what it's going to be you're going to choose a free plan it's just a free plan just click on free plan and it's going to bring you over here very simple so the next thing you want to do want to play want to create an nft so just click on upload and click on file and then it's going to ask you to choose which file you want to upload so you're going to upload an image right now i'm going to come back 
okay so i have chosen a file right now okay and then we can re we can rename the file if you want to you can just call it cool nft okay and then just upload it right here so once you have uploaded it is going to appear over here once it is done okay so um as you can see if i successfully uploaded then it should load right now cool as you can see right here cool nft so want to do one what we want to do is copy this cid okay just click on copy and then you go back to your your zk sync okay right here where it says um cid you just copy and you paste it right here okay so you then click on authorize to mint nft this is not going to cost you much just six cents okay and remember this is using ethereum from your zk sync okay this is not taken from your ethereum mainnet it's your zk sync so make sure you have some zk sync um uh, ethereum before you can do this then the next thing again just click on mint nft and then you just click on proceed to mint nft um seven cents cool so as you can see means nft okay so um if you just click on okay and then it's going to show you all of the nfts that we have minted so as you can see right here this right here if i open this um nft it's going to tell me it's verified because it takes time to verify maybe some some minutes you know so you can see this one is verified this i did this a long time ago uh so this right here is not verified yet so we have to wait for it to verify and then you can gladly say you own this nft and then you can decide to share this nft send it to somebody if you want to okay so you can transfer it to somebody else uh you know somebody with the metamask wallet address just send this to them and they're gonna have this nft in the zk sync um network it's not gonna be at the, on the ethereum mainnet okay to do that you have to withdraw this you have to withdraw it out of the um, um zk sync um, um network to the ethereum network okay layer one network and that is going to cost you a lot as you can see right here it's going to cost me about nine bucks to do that and i don't want to do that i just want to mint and let it be there for a while okay so that is it so we have done um that number five so number six is just the same thing you can just go and you know play with other dApps on the on the ethereum uh on the zk sync okay so you can just play with any other dApp so it that you want so, but what we have covered right now is pretty much all that we need to do so make sure you play with this um faucet maybe once a day you know make you just do it over and over again once a day you can claim your faucet tokens and do that and then you can come over here to swap your tokens from the ethereum uh from the zk sync to the ethereum from the ethereum to the zk sync okay so if you want to swap your tokens from the um ethereum to the zk sync uh back to from um zk sync back to ethereum or you can actually do that all you need to do is click on transfer okay so you can transfer your tokens uh from the ethereum zk sync to ethereum um the ethereum normal ethereum okay so you already have some zk sync you want to take it back to ethereum all you just have to do is click on this transfer right here ethereum and then just click on the amount you want to if you click on send ethereum it's going to convert your um your zk sync ethereum to to the normal ethereum okay that, that is how it works or you can come over to um this bridge right here in zigzag.com um zigzag.exchange and then you can do some from you know zk sync to ethereum and then put in the amount you want to do they're going to charge you okay so make sure you check out for the fees the fees are very important sometimes it can get as high as five dollars ten dollars sometimes you know one dollars forty cents you know but in the average is always about two dollars twenty cents two dollars you know forty cents that is how it is okay so make sure to check out the description i'm going to leave all of this in the description i'm going to be covering all the airdrops um subsequently so make sure you subscribe and check out uh, my description my read my channel for other videos and hope you found this thing useful if you did please give me a um, like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time guys bye